practiced it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to practice this to do it at the Carlton Halifax on what night? Tuesday. Tuesday night in a week, right? That show's already sold out. So here we go. set of comedy and it's at a place called the Mallard Cottage. Really cool restaurant. Like it's gonna be a stunning cool night. And then oh after the gathering you guys should come to this show. I'm playing in Bona Vista, Newfoundland. <laughs> and there's this great pizza parlor there in Bona Vista in this organic garden. Oh my gosh those people are so nice and I get to play Bona Vista. And then you and I play yeah, because I play uh, the Mallard Cottage on a Monday night, and then I fly quick to Halifax. Tuesday, I play there, and then I got to fly to Nashville. And then I, I don't know where I'm going after that. So. We were gone, Sharon and myself, we were gone 286 days last year. 
I know. It's crazy how much I travel, but I still like it. I still get excited about it, so I don't want to stop. And the reason I get excited about it is because I meet all kinds of weirdos on the road. And... Right there. Like when you go to Cape Breton and you ask somebody how's it going and they do an inhaling affirmative, they go, I go, is everything cool? And they go, And then you go, how's the weather out there? Beautiful. <laughs> and then you go to Newfoundland, and when you get to Newfoundland, and instead of saying who are your parents, they go, who the freak knit you, bye. <laughs> who knit you? <laughs> like, who are your parents? Who the freak knit you, bye. And then you gotta go, me mother did it, me father helped. So I learned that. And then if somebody's from St. Anthony, it becomes like one syllable. Where are you from? They go, snit me. Snit me. And then if you call up Jiffy Cab, you want to order a Jiffy Cab, it's the same lady that's worked there like 80 years, and you can just see her with a long cigarette, she never flicks the ash off. The ash is like this long, and you go, how's it going? She goes, Jiffy Cab. <laughs> I love that. Like, people are so wasted in St. John's, it's crazy, like, even the cops have designated drivers. Like, you get out, the cops are wasted. And, uh, I just love going there because of all those reasons, because of sneak me and all that kind of stuff. I was thinking of that and I was flying out of uh, Halifax and I was looking down. You know when you're flying over and there's a big snowstorm, you see all the snow on the ground, and it looks like you're on another planet. And I was taken off, I remember, and I was on the Air Canada flight and all they had were these cocktail napkins. And I had a pen, but I checked my guitar so it was underneath with the luggage so I didn't have a guitar but I knew that this song was going to be a waltz. <laughs> Windows of 
the Maritimes, they're all telling stories of the plentiful days of the cod and the glory, or an explosion that rocked a French cargo ship in Dartmouth near the harbor. All the windows got <laughs> All of these windows, they're all telling stories. Some are so sweet. Some are so gory. There was a murder one night. No one ever speaks of all oh, the windows of Halifax tonight. Hey, thanks so much, man. This is really fun. What a I feel like this is such a this room is made for music, isn't it? The cool brick, it's got that great pup feeling down here. I always like rooms that are downstairs for some reason. Kind of underground feeling, you know? I do, I always like it. There's a room in Toronto I love to play called the Dakota, and I play there a lot. It's a great room. I'll be playing there, I think in October, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to Iona. That's gonna be cool too. I have these good friends, the McPhersons, that are from Cape Breton, Gus McPherson, and they got so many kids, Dave and Sandy McPherson, the all oh, man, M-A-C-P-H-E-R-S-O-N, and Gus and Betty moved out to Southern California, and Gus was from Cape Breton, and he named one of his construction companies Iona. So it was Iona Construction Company. I was there. And he actually owned it. So that was pretty cool. And he had Cape Construction, he had Breton Construction, and a whole brood of kids. Oh my gosh, one of the brothers, Gus's brother, is a priest, and it just goes on and on and on. Um, Ansi McPherson, there's Ansi and Sandy, all the McPhersons. I don't know if any of you guys know them, but it'd be cool if you did. <laughs> I think someone, there's 15 of them coming to my show tomorrow. Man, the Cape Bretoners are, it's weird, because like, the more you get into Canada, the better it gets, the more east you get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Halifax is cool and everything, but man, there's nothing like Cape Breton. These people, like, you guys love music, and it reminds me of when you go to Liverpool and you get up to Liverpool, there's just something that's innate and it's within their their blood that they just love hearing music and songs. And uh, I've always loved writing songs about what happens on the road and I remember one time I got up at three in the morning to go pee and I was thinking as I was standing, I'm like this, I'm like, I was peeing like this. And then I'm thinking, man, I'm on stage tomorrow at the Philadelphia Folk Festival. I'm gonna be playing for 15,000 people. I need to write a folk anthem. And as I was thinking, I looked down at the bubbles that my pee was making in the toilet. And you know, it was like yellow with the white bubbles. And then all of a sudden it opened up and I saw two eyes open up on the bubbles. Like it was all bubbles, these two eyes opened up, then a nose, and a smile, and then I realized my piss bubbles had become a beard, and it was Santa Claus. So, I went down and I'm like, and I go, and it was like three in the morning, so I was kind of tired, and I go, I remember I was like, Santa? And he goes, how's it going? And I go, what are you doing there? And he goes, I came to give you a song to sing tomorrow. And he goes, the piss bubbles talking, and I go, what's the song? And he goes, here it is. And he gave me the words like, you listen in a bottle, you can't see through the fog, you know a trucker jackknifed in the snow up ahead, for sure. You're a folk singer, for sure. And I gave him all these words, and I go, thanks a lot, Santa. And then he goes, hurry up and write it down, or I'll give it to Bob Dylan. <laughs> Raid, I got you clacked at 87 and a 55. Cops, I wanna search you, copy, cause it make you high. You finally reach the club and they got no posters up. Let a 12 people have a puking in a cup. Sell two CDs, give another six away. I hope that somebody is a place where you can stay. Got a 10 hour drive in the morning, and don't sweat it. Keep thinking about the gig last night, you wish you could forget it. Listen to a podcast on Radio Lab. Wash it up, punk. Steal a dead ring of folk, folk singer. Folk, folk 
says you should have played it last week, but right now it's finals and no one makes a peep. He wishes that the money could have been a lot more, but the deal was only for a small percentage of the door.
don't fit on Instagram. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna put it up right now. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna put it up right now while the show's going on, and I don't even care. <laughs> it's gonna just say. It's gonna say higher grounds. I'm even tagging it right now. This is happening in North. <laughs> You guys, I'm so honored to be here. Turn it on everything I can put this on. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the greatest day of my life. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, is this cellar bar? Yes. Okay, this is going up right now. Thank you. <laughs> the odds of that? There's Jewel. Look at her. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. What is she wearing? Um, anyway. That was a good version of folk singing. This is a song I had on the soundtrack to this movie called Notting Hill with Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts. And this is dedicated to anybody out there that has freckles on their face. Thank you! Because my mom, who is a North Sydney Cape Bretoner, told me if you have freckles on your face, it means you were kissed by angels.
when you're looking in the mirror, where your eyes lock in the mind, dear, without guilt and without fear, well, I love everything. So for the soundtrack, I hired a guy. I said, I hear bagpipes on it. And the guy goes, what? And I go, yeah, I hear bagpipes on it. So I hired a guy to come in from Scotland, and the guy shows up wearing a kilt drunk. And it was the greatest thing. <laughs> so you look at the soundtrack. The Kate Bretner would have done it. Maybe it was a Kate Bretner. <laughs> And the guy shows up, and it was great, and he nailed it. And so if you listen to the version from the soundtrack to Notting Hill, it's totally different than the version that is on One Left Shoe. But it's cool to hear the, the uh, bagpipes on that sucker. It's really neat. Um, so I've written so many songs. I've, I've written hundreds and hundreds of songs. And then I always tell people when I teach songwriting classes, I always go, learn other people's songs, too, because it's kind of cool. It soaks in. Their songwriting soaks into you, and it makes it fun. And everybody says to me, what song do you wish you wrote? And I go, man, it changes day to day. But today, this is the song I wish I wrote. And it was by Townsend and Zane. <laughs> Living on the road, my friends, it's going to keep you free and clean. Now you wear your skin like iron. Your breasts is far as kerosene. You weren't your mama's only boy, but her favorite one is saying. She began to cry when you said goodbye. Slipped into your dream. Ancho was a bandit boy. His horse was fast as polished steel. He wore his gun outside his pants for all the honest world to feel. Pancho met his match, you know, on the deserts down in Mexico. Nobody heard his dying words. Ah, oh, but that's the way it goes. Yes, sir. 
Steve Jobs, they were partners, it was Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs. And uh, Steve Wozniak, I mean, they, they, they are billionaires because they started Apple Computer. Anyways, <coughs> Steve Wozniak was the genius. Steve Jobs was the marketing genius, but Steve Wozniak designed those early Apple computers. And uh, anyways, Wozniak is like a super huge fan of my music. He heard me on Sirius XM satellite radio. So he shows up once, I was playing in Joshua Tree. He shows up to the show. And he brings a big sheet of uncut $2 bills direct from the mint. And he gives it to me. And I go, where'd you get that? And he goes, I got friends. <laughs> and then he goes, man, I'm a super fan here. So then I was playing in the other Sydney, Australia. And I look up and he's in the audience. He flew out to wow. see me in Sydney, Australia. Wow. Then he flew to see me in Dublin, Ireland. And he's fun to see me all over the place. He'll be at my show coming up. Is he wow. here tonight? I wish he was here tonight. <laughs> I bet he'll be at my show in Northern California, September 7th. I'm playing at the headquarters of the Grateful Dead. It's called Terrapin Crossroads. And I'm a huge deadhead. I'm going to show you the picture. I just got the poster and I showed it to Paul upstairs. You guys are going to freak when you see this poster. It's so cool. Yeah, I look like Shaggy from Steve McDude. <laughs> uh, it's on my Instagram feed right now. Anyways, so I'm going to be playing there, but what's cool is Steve Wozniak had, um, he's come to see me so much, he was like, hey, I'm going to give you this thing called Songwriting App. And what it is is he had it surgically Im implanted in my head. <laughs> it's a thing where I can write a song out of the blue and it just comes out of me and I, I can create songs through songwriting app. And it's like, it costs like a million dollars, but he gave me it for free, but it's in my brain now. <laughs> and so while I was singing Poncho and Lefty, I wrote this song. And it was this is what the song goes like, it's crazy. It goes,
If I still kind of alive, take my kidney, donate it to someone who needs it. And if no one's sick, maybe, maybe somebody is on dialysis. That's fine with me. Pull it out with your fist because. Again. 
in the air. Radio One. Have a glory share, glory share. Turn your lights down low. job and I graduated from college in 1985 from the University of San Diego Toreros and we had a great college there and I majored in Spanish with a minor in Spanish. So I knew I wouldn't have a job but at least I'd know why. But at least I would speak Spanish and that was pretty cool. So I ended up taking that job and I traveled all around the world and then I decided I wanted to go all the way over to Europe and I flew into Paris thinking I was going to busk on the streets of Paris for passing change because I thought everybody would be friendly there. And then I knew I had to get over to Ireland, and when I did, I was hitchhiking around Ireland, and I got picked up by a truck driver in Ireland. He was the coolest dude. He said, man, I live in Kilkenny, Ireland. Why don't you come? You can stay at our house. Me and my wife live there. We'll give you your own room. You can have fun. We got a turntable. It won't be as cool as the place you're going to stay in when you go to North Sydney in uh, 2018. But it'll be pretty cool. And I go, how do you know about the place it's going to be? This is only 1988. We're talking about 2018, so that would be 1988 would be 98, 2008, 2000. That's 30 years from now. He goes, because I can see the future. I go, you're a time traveler too? He goes, yeah, I'm a time traveler. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I become unstuck in time like Billy Pilgrim in the book Slaughterhouse Five. I go, you have? He goes, yeah, I'm like my own episode of Back to the Future. You remember that mad doctor? I go, that guy, Marty, get my flux capacitor. I've got to get back to the future. <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's the guy I'm talking about. He goes, when you play the song in Cape Breton in 2018, you'll be able to play this song. If you write me a song right now, my wife will think it's really cool. And I go, what sign of song should I want? He goes, I think you should call it Kilkenny Man and write it about me. Yeah. And I go, should I have a bridge in it? He goes, yeah, you should have a bridge. And I go, good, because I like writing bridges, because I'm going to do a song in 2018. I'm going to mention a bridge twice in that show in the summer. And he goes, yeah, I know. I've been there, too. And I go, you really have become unstuck in time, haven't you? You are a time driver. He goes, yeah, I am. And I said, cool, I'm going to sit down and write the song. So I sat down and I wrote this song. <laughs>
I've never had that happen. Listen <laughs> to Kate Britton. Somebody fun back to anybody? Did anybody you did? It? I had to send it to my mom. <laughs> you guys, this has been so fun. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Yeah. I love you. I want all my friends to be happy. And be blessed by the light from above. I want all my friends to be hopeful, not to be slaves to a bank. I hope that my friends never have to roll through the street. I want all my friends to have kitchen parties <laughs> stocked up with bountiful lobster chowder. <laughs> I hope they wake with a smile and say, Come on, everybody, you'll never be as good of a crowd as North Sydney. They get louder. <laughs>
and to tell cancer to just go fat off. Yeah. Let's try that together. Yeah. For anybody who needs it. Yeah. And to tell cancer to just go fat off. Say it like you're from Australia. Fat off. <laughs> Tell cancer to just go. Nice. <laughs> I know my friends to know one thing. One day when I'm long dead and gone, I want them to know that I love them. That that's why I wrote them. Why I wrote them. friends to be happy. I want all my friends to find love. I want all my friends to find love. I want all my friends to share good things. I want all my friends to share good things and be blessed by the light from above. And be blessed by the light from above. Thank you. 
no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love No, you haven't made your mind up yet But I would never do the wrong Known it from the moment that we met. <laughs> no doubt no. in my mind, we did. I I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue. I'd go crawling down the air. There's nothing I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. Storms are changing, blow away the winds are blowing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and on the highway, every
Yeah. <laughs> 